Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So, we got another video for you guys. Ooh, look at that hot pink. <whistles> and sparkly. Anyways, so this is the uh, Ibanez uh, Miruko or Mikuru. I don't know how they pronounce it. It's an Ibanez Geo and uh, it's got a weird name on it there. See there, there you go. M-I-K-R-O, however you pronounce it. Okay, first off, it does have the cheesy machine heads on it that I always hated. Uh, but these ones actually don't work too bad for now. Bolt-on neck. Uh, you've got the through body uh, for your strings. One thing I can pick on about these is they stick out. They don't countersink in. And for a guitar that costs about 200 bucks new, that's pretty poor on Ibanez's part for that one. Uh, but, hey, you know... I guess sometimes you uh, get what you pay for and sometimes you don't and sometimes you pay more and you still get a few weird things. But they could have done a better job with that. Anyways, so enough of terrorizing the guitar for that. Um, it is a hardtail, dual humbuckers, 24 frets on this puppy. Can you believe that? 24 frets. Anyways, I got this on a trade deal on Kijiji and uh, to me it was a really good trade. I got it with some picks. Uh, the the strap which I'm using for now on it flowery isn't it anyways yeah and Kevy with a pink guitar and it's right-handed as well three-quarter size so great for kids you know and uh, anyhow um, it does need the intonation set up properly because it's definitely out um, a bit there and the strings are so old they are actually original strings uh, the story I got from the, the guy on this one is this is one that, you know, their daughter was supposed to learn on and she never did use it. And so it's been sitting in the house for probably, I guess, about the last two years at least anyway. Um, and that's fine. No big deal. I don't really care. But um, anyhow, three-way switch for your humbuckers. One tone, one volume. Uh, pretty basic. It's got a nice design to the body. I actually wouldn't mind this in a left-handed version, um, but uh, you know, and an adult can play this. You know, it's it's really not that bad. Pickups are pretty clean on this thing. Can't really complain there. teaching myself right-handed I have a full-size adult right-handed guitar and I want to pick this up and uh, I'm also going to be picking up some you know right-handed acoustics in various sizes as well um, and of course you know I've been going amp hungry too and I got the edition 20 today which is on another video as well as a, uh, a Fender um, 15 DSP amp I picked up today too so it's been a really great day for doing trading for me and all this like three awesome deals you know so really super stoked and happy so I'm gonna have a fun weekend um, being the age of these strings too and the intonation being out um, I'm gonna put some new strings on this thing reset the intonation up properly and get her all tweaked out and uh, then she'll be good for a while but, uh, even though the the tuner says it's in tune you can tell it's out a little bit so let's kick a little bit of distortion up on this thing, because I can do a little bit of that right-handed.
been playing lefty for over 30 years, you know, okay, so, you know, right-handed, it's, it's different, you know, it's challenging, um, but, uh, anyways, let's crank that thick switch on. <laughs> are nice um, they work well with the switch you know you can hear the differences so they're good um, I like the idea of the hardtail bridge that's really nice um, not too fussy on the tuners um, I've never really liked those styles but you get what you get um, I'm, I'm thinking about swapping them over I don't know I might I might not um, this I really don't like that's not nice uh, that those actually stick up Ibanez could have done a much better job um, other than that, the rest of the guitar is just awesome, you know. I think it's a really nice guitar. Probably be nicer playing it left-handed, though. quarter size anyway but um, anyways um, I think well the nuts nice the frets are nice on it got good frets 24 frets that's good you know doesn't weigh that much it's, it's pretty light guitar which is great for kids you know um, not sure uh, I'm not sure if that's no, it probably is not maple but Hard to say. I'd have to check the specs online to find out what the neck is. It's kind of a... I'm uh, not too sure on. Rosewood fingerboard, of course. And uh, the body, if I remember right, I think was basswood. Uh, I read something about that. But I don't remember what the neck was made out of. Um, but still, I mean, good little guitar. Great for beginners, for sure. Um, you know, and even when the kid becomes a bit of an intermediate player, I mean, these are some pretty good sized frets on this thing, so, you know, and the action, um, uh, well, the neck could come up just a little bit, it's a little on the too straight side, so I'll probably have to adjust that, um, no biggie there, you know, so a little bit of tweaking on this thing, new set of strings, set up the into, and she should be perfect, but, you know, there's not even a scratch on this thing. You know, I, I took it out of the case, and uh, it did come with a case with a busted, two busted zippers. So we're gonna have to fix the zippers, and it is a matching Ibanez uh, Micro or Micure, whatever you call it, uh, case. Anyways, it's a nice little case, um, and it came with a handful of picks, which is fine. Um, never have too many picks, I guess. Um, but yeah, like uh, this is just really in awesome condition. Um, you know, the strap is kind of nice. It's a really comfortable strap, and it's not a cheapie either. It's one of these, uh, who, who the heck makes this one? Uh, bum, 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 bum. Um, these are levies, levy strap. So, uh, yeah, these are usually a good 20 bucks, 25 bucks for these straps. Uh, so that's not too shabby. Um, so we'll have to put that somewhere anyway. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, as far as uh, if you want a star rating on this thing, because I know you guys always do, input jack down here is actually nice. That's a good idea. Keep stuff out of the way. Um, I would say overall, and with my nitpicking and stuff on it, which is actually, you know, I think this is really super valid. Um, I'd probably say put this thing in about a 3.5 out of 5, you know. Um, it's just 
these tuners are always been bad for not staying in tune that well but we'll see how they do with some fresh strings and have the intonation set up right we'll set up the neck set the, the string height up proper and uh, maybe I'd probably have a little bit better opinion but uh, not likely I think it's still gonna be stuck at a three and a half out of five just because of crappy tuners and uh, this protruding out of the back. Now I've seen the new version of this guitar um, as well. <laughs> and uh, the new version is uh, actually about what they paid for this one new, it's just over 200. And except it comes with really good tuners now, you're right? So in two years, they've changed the tuners for sure. Still hardtail. Um, and I don't know if they fixed this problem or not, but uh, if not, then Ibanez really needs to go back to school on that one and you know because having those protrude out is not cool You know, they should be sunk inward um, But other than that, yeah, it's a great little axe. I think you know um, You know good for kids uh, My wife actually likes this thing. She figures maybe she'll play on it and you know because she can she's doing really good on the mandolin It's a small guitar, right? And I've tried my wife on uh, full-size adult guitars, different sizes and electrics and acoustics and uh, you know, she could never get it, but maybe it's just the thing about being a small size that might work for her. So she's gonna probably try this thing out and see if she can play it. And hey, if she can, fine, but still my guitar, ha 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 ha, you know? Um, but anyway, yeah. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I, I like it, I actually do like the color which is amazing because I really have not really been a fan of pink, but you know, it's kind of cool. It's got gold sparkles in it. You know, it's a neat guitar. Anyways, guys, uh, that's it for now for this. Uh, hey, well, you know, when I get a lot better playing right-handed guitar, I'll give you guys some good right-handed guitar videos. Um, you know, so sorry for the sucky playing, but you know how it goes when you're trying to go the opposite way. It's kind of really difficult, uh, but uh, yeah. Even me, I could sit here and plunk away on this thing. It's not bad. Alright, catch you later.